Hi Taurus, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a tarot reading for your next 48 hours. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general, so just take what resonates, but uh, I as well appreciate your likes, your comments, and of course subscriptions to the channel if you haven't done so already. Oh, and to book a personal reading with myself, you just need to reach out via email and I'll get that started for you. They are pre-recorded is what I'm being guided to tell you and they are uh, pretty damn affordable. All the information you'll see is down below in the description box, including that email. But as well, keep in mind this is meant to pertain to the following 48 hour period for you, beginning around when you are guided or drawn to this video, not just following when I post it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But we're going to begin and pull from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. Um, but I did get a message before uh, beginning this reading that your vibe will inspire. Your vibe will inspire. I feel as if you're just floating through the next 48 hours. You're strutting. You're even bouncing to the music or just to your own um, mood at the time. I do feel like you're um, cracking jokes at certain points or just laughing with um, somebody you live with or somebody you work with or just... I, I feel like you're even reminiscing to a certain extent on past memories, you know, the flashbacks on social media potentially or in your camera roll. I feel like you are um, on a roll as they just push the word roll to echo in an extreme way. But what do we have for Taurus in the next 48? Okay, it felt a little bit odd. Um, choosing your path, all is possible. I do feel like you're um, seeing a lot of success expand in your situation in one way, shape, or form, or in multiple ways. If you're a business owner, the success you're gaining feels long overdue, okay? Or just a sense of luck being on your side. And I also just feel like you're impressing people at work if you do have a day-to-day -day job that you work. But either way, I feel like you're being pushed to remember that you... Um, that you have choices, okay? You have options. You don't have to settle for less than you deserve. It's, it's this vibe, this reminder at certain points um, that you are in the driver's seat, okay? Um, feeling kind of proper at certain points, I feel the need to say. Um, I'm being shown an, an infinity symbol as I'm being drawn to all as possible, okay? You are in the driver's seat once again and you can choose where your path goes but you'll be very aware in the next 48 hours if you haven't been already that spirit's going to advise and guide to make sure things are unraveling the way they're meant to. There's a greater plan than yours as well is what will be reminded. So yes, you're in, in control to that extent, but remember that spirit in the universe is moving with you, okay? Guiding you. And I do feel like spirituality heavily comes into play at certain points. Um, okay, don't be surprised if something occurs, but we have faraway places talking about you needing to get ready for new horizons. So a sense of preparation taking place to an extent. Okay, bookshelves is what I just heard. As I was drawn over here, you could be gaining new knowledge in regards to what lies ahead. You could be pushed to read a book or Google something, do some online research or stumble upon um, an ad of relevance, okay, on social media or something of the sort. Uh, don't be surprised when everything you watch is just either on point when it comes to tarot readings or even when it comes to certain TV shows or movies or random uh, social media posts or random YouTube videos. It all just feels uh, guided okay it's on point it's relevant it's needed it's as if you'll be feeling the need to just randomly move to a different TV show or a different video um, or a different social media platform and then you see something you were meant to or you are watching that show for a bit and it clicks it's like wow that's why I was meant to watch this you're being heavily guided um, and it's not even just the normal guides okay a full body of goosebumps just came over me that may happen to you at a certain point, if not multiple. It's as if not um, just the normal spirits or guides are um, helping you. It's like random ones are joining you just to, and I know that might creep some out in hearing that or just experiencing it. I personally am so damn used to it, but you're just going to uh, feel as if 
random souls are just trying to help you out, okay? Or a part of the greater plan and the larger vision of things. And I do feel like you'll be a little bit overwordy at certain points when explaining things, conveying messages, producing and developing. But I do feel as if it will inspire once again. It'll be well digested by those who tune in, um, are listening in one way, shape or form. Ears will be open, eyes will be peeled, and I just feel like you're being viewed as a star. I also do feel like there's going to be a moment, if not several, where you say something almost in every way possible, you know, where you just reword it several times when you don't need to. And it just, um, it's viewed as interesting. Let's just put it that way. But I do feel like you're being um, pushed to be one with the infinite abundance of the next 48 hours for you as it pours into your life. The fact that we began with a success expanding in your life card, um, the gates of triumph, and then we have the infinite abundance talking about your path and getting ready for new horizons. There's such abundant energy in this reading and that I'm feeling within your energy that you're just going to feel very powerful in a very um, calm and but energetic sort of way in the next 48 hours. Don't overdo it with caffeine, okay? As I do feel like you're going to have a nice amount of natural energy taking place, even if that takes a hot second at the beginning of each day to kind of um, snap out of it, right? Or just get you know into a clear state of being. But I feel like you will, again, spirits can give you a little bit of a spurt in energy, so keep that in mind. But let's pull some tarot to move it right along. Let's pull from the light seers. If I could even find it, wow. Um, I do feel like you're going to see things stacking, piling on top of each other, as they were just making me thoroughly think about the tarot cards that I have. Um, kind of disorganized, but piling one on top of the other. Uh, I do feel like you may feel inclined to organize in one way, shape, or form. I don't know why I said it that way. Ah, okay, that was satisfying. That was keywording. I'm not sure why that came out. For Taurus. Okay, the devil. I do feel like there's not, not every spirit that comes to visit you is going to be super positive, or you could feel as if you're just a bit overworked. There's a potential to overthink at certain points. But for the most part, like I said, um, okay, 95% of the next 48 hours is beyond um, magical or just uh, successful, okay? Nothing can be perfect. And I feel like you are reminding other people, if not needing a reminder for oneself, that perfection is just not attainable, okay? Or just not something you should be striving for at this time. But with the Four of Wands, things are just falling into place and people are seeing that, okay, in your situation. And I do sense that you're at times not sharing all, if any, of the negatives that have taken place recently with a new move of residence or a new job or just the continuation of something. Um, and I feel like there's a connection you're keeping on the down low, but I do feel like you are, um, it's as if you're being strategic, right? And you may even spill the beans and share some of the negatives and moments of ranting down the line, but everything will come out or be kept to oneself, hidden, as it's meant to, okay? There's just a, everything's happening as it's meant to, when it's meant to, sort of vibe about your next two days and even surrounding it. But looking at the King of Wands coming out with the Horizons card and the Path card, you're just meant to recognize that you have this bold, at times overly serious, but passionate way of being, this fiery side to you. So you might have strong fire in your chart and that's helping you produce and develop what you need to, okay? You just will see oneself speaking as I do in these readings and it just comes to be as it's meant to, okay? You're one inspirational individual and people love that about you. They're seeing you change left and right and I do feel like a change in your appearance moving forward will keep people on their toes. It'll shock certain people. Even people that you told this to uh, previously, it's like, okay, you obviously didn't think I was being serious or you just um, didn't foresee it being this dramatic of a change or you're just 
being reminded that I'm good looking, um, however that works for you. But I do feel like there's a bit of a cocky way about you at certain points and that helps you with what you're producing and developing as well. You're again being reminded of a level of control that you have in your situation, <clears throat> excuse me, along your path um, in one way, shape or form, but also thoughts of your financial savings coming into play and how you should be protecting that and um, being smart as far as what you um, are spending your money on. Don't be too future oriented when it comes to spending money. Try to just keep it to a minimal. But I do feel like you're thinking about or being reminded of and learning about your financial future. Okay, some of you being drawn to this reading are meant to be absolutely wealthy and that will be a reminder uh, at one point for you. But I really do sense that you are um, smiling in moments of you just achieving what you're meant to, okay? Let's pull a Kipper card or two. I do feel like there's gonna be a few moments uh, where, or several moments where you're just a bit out of it and, you are, um, and you're just trying to do something or you're in the middle of speaking um, and or trying to remember something. And I do feel like there's a spirit trying to confuse you or you're just um, getting a lot done consistently, uh, a bit tired. You may need to take a nap or get to bed earlier, okay? Especially if you're working early mornings or just starting your day super early. I feel like you're being reminded of this stuff at certain points. Um, yeah, I just feel like the work of spirit in the next 48 hours for you is quite relevant. Even in moments when it doesn't feel like it's them, it is. But I also feel like there's a message of concern taking place, all right? Don't let it get the best of you. It'll be um, a, just a small moment, okay? But I do feel like there's a lot of messages coming in in regards to your path. But I do feel like for some of you, there's um, love messages coming in or just messages of interest from a potential suitor or somebody you're connected to, potentially in a relationship with. Um, but I do feel like a lot of people will be communicating with you. And I do sense that there are several comments, uh, praise, even judgments taking place. And I do sense that you're being reminded that luck is on your side at this time. And you're embodying this mature energy, very in touch with your masculine side. And I do feel like that's uh, helping people trust your word. Okay, interesting. Mature man and mature woman. So I do feel like there's a nice balance between your masculine and feminine side in the next 48 hours but you're also seeing oneself connect with somebody who um, matches or exceeds your maturity level at this point along your path, but also um, thoughts of past bad health and how you're trying to prevent that, um, even if that's just in regards to your appearance, your skin complexion or something of the sort. But I do feel like there's a decision, if not multiple to make in regards to your occupation, your job, okay, to put it um, differently and I sense that you're just receiving levels of abundance in regards to your work period but I also feel like attention in regards to uh, people wanting more of what you have to offer in more than one way that's coming through as a true level of abundance it's the next 48 hours where you're reminded that you have so much to offer and that your passions are paying off and that you're meant for even more abundance moving forward.